Hello and welcome to 1425, also known as the year we have to roll for war. Also, we're only rolling for Harris and Kellen because they're the only males, teen to adult, to see if they go to war or not. So we roll a d4. If they get a four, they go to war and have to move out for five years. This is where we are from 1425 to 1430. So we are going to roll for Kellen and for Harris. Also this year, on our timeline over here, our little baby Reese today rolls to become a toddler. And tomorrow, Kellen rolls to become a 50-year-old adult. Now, it says that they go to war even if they are an adult. It doesn't say, it just says once they're not, once they're an elder, I guess they don't go. Yes, teen to adult. So, Kellen misses it by like one day, I guess it looks like. Anyway, that doesn't matter. We have to roll for both of them. All right, I'm gonna get it out like this. We're gonna roll for war first. So first we're rolling for Kellen. Nope, that's the wrong thing. First we're rolling for Kellen. He does not go to war. And now we're rolling for Harris. He goes to war. Y'all, we just lost our dad for five years. Okay, well, we're going to have Kellen and we're going to have Grandma. And, oh, we better have Reese. Okay, Reese has a lot of numbers that he can roll. He can roll 15 different numbers on this D20. So there's only five numbers to avoid. He can roll 15 different numbers. But not that one. Y'all. Okay, Reese is going to die next year. Okay, well, we went from having four heirs, heir possibilities, to now having two. Okay, well, let's go over and age up little Reese. So we will no longer have any toddlers, I mean infants, in our house. And then somebody asked me about Harris getting remarried. And I said, no, we have... <laughs> We have five children, and four of them are boys, and now I'm getting very worried. So there are a couple of things that we can do. So our Emma has a birthday, but Emma, honestly, she matters a little bit, but she doesn't matter a ton. But Sebastian and Xavier are not going to be aging up for another three years. So I would love to hear your thoughts on whether I should go ahead and roll to see if the two of them are going to survive their teen rolls. That feels a little bit like cheating to me, but there's one number they have to avoid. I just feel like both of them are not going to roll it. But as soon as I say that, of course they will. So I just, I don't know. Because, like, we can't predict the future. So, like, their dad wouldn't be getting married way back in 14-whatever. Although, he's not coming home from war till 1430. Let me, I need to make that yellow so I know something's happening that year. So, Harris can't do anything till he gets remarried in 1430 anyway. So, I guess we'll know whether Sebastian and Xavier are going to die. And then Harris has until... He'll have four years before he even has another birthday after he comes back from war. So if we find out that Sebastian and Xavier, if they die, then I guess he will get remarried. That's just what we're going to do because he's leaving to go to war. I can't do anything about it right now. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so baby Reese is going to grow up, have his birthday this morning, and Harris is going to move out and go to war. Okay, well, not that it matters too much, but this is a good time to point out what somebody told me when I asked why his eyes were red instead of either purple or blue. And they said that it, when you're doing the genetics in The Sims, the different colored things have different code numbers. So, like, if you've got the code number for blue, let's say, is three, and the code number for red is seven, I mean, not red, purple, is seven, when the Sims added new colors in, instead of saying, okay, this is red, so it needs to be number nine, they just gave it the same number as purple. So when the computer is going, da da da, they're having a baby, the eye color is going to be either a three or a seven, they just pull a seven. And the seven could either be purple or red because they have the same number. I just made up those numbers. That's not the numbers. But anyway, what that means is his eyes should be purple. Also, not that it matters because he's going to be dying. But here is Reese 
as a toddler, of course, he got this super curly hair. We are going to give him a different curly hair, though. Okay, he is silly, and here is Reese Miller as a toddler. Okay, since Harris doesn't live in this room anymore, and neither does Elizabeth, we are, first of all, we're keeping these beds in our inventory, and this, because it's going to go in our, like, barn space, but we definitely don't need it in here right now. So, we're going to move the toddlers out here. And we're going to move Kellen into this house right here and leave uh, Alice out here where she is right now. But then I was also thinking that in the little boy's room, we could put like an emergency potty. Oh, we don't have enough money for it. But well, how much is it? 25 and we have 22. Okay. All right. We can start adding to our pictures again. <laughs> Since Grandma painted that autonomously. All right. And then let's see how many servings we have in here. Two there. And that is by itself. Okay. It's still like 3.30 in the morning. But Harris has moved out. We've aged up the baby. We're going to send. We're going to have him do something with this trash. Now the boys have got to be even sadder. Because now their dad has gone. All right. Kellen is going to have to just get out here. Even though it's the middle of the night and tend this garden. He's feeling fine, but... Baby girl, can you not come in here and play dolls? I don't understand. Oh, yes, you can. Okay. I'm like, her fun is way down. Xavier, where are you going? Bathroom and then back to bed. Okay. Grandma is... Oh, my gosh. Kellen, I know I'm sorry I told you to tend the garden, but you're going to have to fix this first. Okay. I just ended up selling that trash can because I could not get it to work correctly. So now we're going to grab a potty and just put it right here where they have access to this window to dump it out if they need to. Wow, what is happening with this? That's such a weird thing to have pop up. Anyway, it's totally fine. It's fine. We don't, we just don't question. <laughs> All right, we went out foraging again. Let's see what she got this time. Oh, oh chestnuts so she might be able i mean i keep forgetting what i'm supposed to be looking for whether it's chestnuts yes it was a chestnut so we should be able to make four because we should definitely have enough for four of them nice so maybe we can have different food now since she has that okay well i could make chicken pie rabbit meat we have rabbit in here i just need to cut it and we can make rabbit pie. Oh, everybody's going to be so excited about it. Okay, now let's see if we got that. Could we make rabbit pie? Oh, and we can do meat and potato pie. We're going to do rabbit meat pie first. Oh, it's a great day when we don't have to eat gruel anymore. Oh, there goes the bushes. I'm going to get Kellen out here this morning and let him take care of the animals real quick and then we'll go roll for his birthday all right there we go rabbit pie looking great here's the flower oh we have seven things of flour okay awesome i thought it made one thing of flour but let me get her pick up to pick up all these and then she can get some leftovers okay Awesome. Let's go. Wait, Kellen, why is there dirty animals? That's literally the job I gave you, which was to take care of the animals. No, do not go mess with the baby. What does he need? He wants food and he needs to go to the bathroom and he wants attention. Okay. Okay, here is Kellen over here. He needs to roll a 6, 9, 14, or 20. 6, 9, 14 or 20. No. Okay. Kellen. Oh, Kellen dies in two years, y'all. <laughs> All right. Well, we got Kellen for two more years. Uh, I need to look and see when Alice. When is Alice's birthday? Y'all, I just looked to see when Alice Miller's birthday was. And I did a control F. And in 1418, we rolled for her to die in nine years. 
That means in 1427, she's going to die the day before, the day after Kellen dies. So Kellen is going to die, then Alice is going to die, and we have no adults in this house. We're going to have to get somebody (laughs) to move in, and she's, we're going to get a woman to move in, and she's going to take care of the children, and possibly she and Harris will get married when he gets back from war. Y'all, this is absolute madness. Okay, let's discuss some things. First of all, I went through and I took off all the colors except for the people who are living in our world right now and we have to add somebody in and I'm going to show you why that is. This is Madeline, Madalena Trueborn. Madalena. Okay. Madalena Trueborn is in our house. She is helping out the family while Harris is gone to war. They have hired her to come over and help with the babies while the big kids learn from Kellen how to do the the yard and all the gardening and all of that stuff. And Alice, oh, poor Alice is sick right now. I see all these bumps all over her face. So while our poor Alice deals with what looks like strawberries on her skin, she's cooking and that's just what's going on. So Madalena is in here. Here is the deal. Let's look over here. Here's everything that I have figured out since the last time I talked to you, which was, you know, for you two seconds ago. For me, it was yesterday. Kellen is going to be dying. Alice is going to be dying. And the same day, Emma is going to be rolling to become a child. That is all happening in 1427. So good news is next year, Our Reese dies right at the beginning of next year, and then nothing else happens for the whole year. It's just us playing the people in our household. But then, in 1427, we do have the two deaths where Kellen and Alice will be dying, which means the only adult in our house will then be Madalena. And Emma will hopefully be aging up to a child. And then the next year, in 1428... The twins will be aging up to teenagers, and that will be when we know whether or not Sebastian will officially become the heir and get married and have children, or if Harris will need to come back from war in January of 1430 and potentially fall in love with the woman who has been taking care of his children while he was gone. So ultimately what's going to happen is our poor Kellen is, has, I mean, our poor Harris has gone to war. And while he has gone to war, his mom, his uncle, and his youngest child are all going to be dying while he's gone. He's going to come back to potentially two teenage boys and a daughter who is now a child when he gets back from the war. So we don't really have any decisions to make right now. We're just going to play like we're going to play until right here, the last day of 1428. That's when we will make some decisions and know some things that potentially will need to happen in our house or with, with Harris. So that being said, We have moved Madalena in the house, and we are on the last day of this year. Like I said, Alice is in here cooking. She's mostly just hungry. We have, you know, crap on the floor because our children. I don't know why it keeps killing this plant. When I moved it out here, like when I, uh, when I relocated it to this location where they could get all the way around it, it didn't, it didn't have it killed. And see, right then I just rotated the box and it's alive. So I don't know if I'll have to do that periodically. Anyway, Alice has mostly been cooking food and then coming out here and taking care of our little goats and sheep. And then she's been going upstairs and trying to handle the toddlers. Now, speaking of toddlers, that little baby girl is still stinky because we know she accidentally got aged up. I don't know why I said accidentally because I certainly aged her up on purpose, but... She got aged up while she was still doing whatever. Anyway, Harris thinks he's, I mean, Kellen thinks he's going to come set the table. Kellen, you're the only one who can spray this area for bugs, which is way more important than you setting the table. Okay, Madalena needs to come in here. Wait, what is she doing? Wow, she's going to unload the laundry for us. Why set it down? I keep having that issue where, wait, that laundry is wet, girl. What are you doing? 
that is clean and soaked. Put that laundry back on the clothesline. Okay, Madalena might have to go if she can't even tell the difference in wet and dry clothes. I'm going to send her in here to start throwing away some of this stuff. All right, and then Grandma made the pie. Why don't you eat some of it? Our little guy can come out here. Xavier can help in the garden. Weeding. And harvest day is going to happen next year as well. Oh my gosh, our little guy. What you been doing out here, man? How is this plant dead? I just don't understand how these plants are dying. Like, is that a thing from... Is that a glitch that anybody knows about? I'm just going to have to randomly move plants around? Okay, well, he can tend the garden now. But I'm going to send him in here to use the bathroom first. And then we'll let him tend the garden. So, and these plants back here have not grown at all. These have grown only a little. Something needs to be evolved. There we go. And so I'm wondering also, you, you guys can let me know. The fox that keeps coming in here, is the fox doing anything with my plants? Because he looks at it. <gasps> he absolutely just did. I had no idea that the fox would steal my food. Listen here. That is unacceptable, little fox dude. He's got a dang green bean in his mouth. Look at that. That's not okay. Is he going to drop it? Put that green bean down. Oh, he did. Wait, what you doing now? Oh, he's eating it. Oh, absolutely not. Nuh uh. Oh my gosh. Who knew I had to lock this? Lock for um, everybody but household members. I did not know I had to do that. Wow. Okay. Well, I don't think he's the reason because it looks like he just grabbed a green bean off of the end of that plant. I don't think he's the reason that some of these are still small like this. Or these have now grown a little bit. They were even smaller than that. See, they would look like that. Oh, that one's ready to evolve. But for some reason, it's still tiny. But it says it's got the little evolve thing on it. So... I don't know. Anyway, Kellen is out here working in the garden. We will be able to harvest at some point next year. She is in here chatting with the boys or with Sebastian. Okay, Sebastian, I feel like there's probably something you could be doing. Yeah, you could get out here and weed. And then Xavier, you could also be out here weeding. Oh, Xavier is weeding. Well, where are you? Oh my gosh, he was out here anyway. I just didn't see him. Okay. Girl, no, we are not doing sit-ups. You need to get in this house and put this away and see what you can cook over here because that is your job is to be cooking and handling these babies. Little boy, you just need to go straight upstairs and go to sleep. Oh, he must have been over with the birds. He got a little early bird energy. <laughs> nice. Oh, what's that? <sighs> Sebastian just maxed out the mental skill. Okay, Sebastian. Okay, you clean up all of these plates, please, ma'am. And then let's see what kind of cooking you can do with your level of cooking. We need a potato or a pigeon or an egg. We're going to have to get a small chicken thing out here. I don't know why I said small, but one. We're going to have to get one chicken thing out here. Okay, there's our little wooden CC chicken coop. Purchase chickens. So when... Madalena came she brought Madalena I'm never gonna get that right when she came she brought a rooster and we'll say she brought two hens and a rooster okay and a hen chick okay Madalena can you come out here and feed the chickens please and let's name this Madalena's last name is what trueborn we're going to call this True Born Chickens. Okay, maybe her family's a chicken family. All right, in the meantime, she's going to make some, some meat substitute over here. Oh, Madalena likes cooking. Nice. All right, guys, it looks great out here. All right, let's collect some more cricket flour. Sebastian is going to do that. Here's our chickens out here. I'm going to have him come scatter some more feed because it looks like they've already eaten the feed that was out here. Nice. I like having chickens again. All right. I'm going to send Madalena out foraging. All right. Our baby girl is hungry, which is perfect timing because Grandma just finished making another rabbit pie. Oh, Kellen made a landscape painting, which we can put right over here. 
All right, looks like just about everybody <laughs> needs food except grandma. All right, all of our little kids down here, I love it. Everybody in the room. Aw, she's sitting down here chatting with the boys. That's nice. I'm hoping that Kellen, in his old age, he's not going to live to be super old, but that he can at least start painting from reference and paint a couple of pictures of the kids. All right, Sebastian is a little bit tired. Grandma needs a bath. Everybody's just settling in for the night. All right, so Madalena is going to be sleeping up here. Oh, that was loud. All right, it looks like everybody's getting ready for bed. Oh, all right, so there we go. Kellen is out here building, and then he's going to bed. Madalena is in bed. Sebastian is in bed. Um, let's see. That's probably good enough. Wait, did I say that the chickens couldn't leave the yard? Because now I'm concerned that they can. Lock for, let's just lock for everyone but household members again, just to make sure. Here's a little fox trying to steal stuff. Guess what? You shouldn't be able to get in here either. Ha ha. Wait, what? What? He literally just grabbed it out the edge right there. You know what? That's the only one you can get. Whatever you can grab around the edge. That is absolutely fine. You little thief. That's not okay, Redwood. Okay. Anyway, the baby. Let's see. No, honey. You go to sleep and then you can eat something. Kellen finished his woodworking project, so he's going to bed. Grandma, you've been in the shower long enough in the dang thunderstorm. That's probably not safe. Oh, gosh. I'm glad she didn't get struck by lightning. Lilith! You are not here, and you're not really here. That's not a thing that happens. Oh my gosh, everybody in this house is in the bed at 9 o'clock at night. I do not know what happened. I mean, our baby boy is hungry, but he's also in the bed, which is the main thing. Look at that. Everybody's asleep at 9 o'clock. This is where I'm going to end this. This is the end of 1425. Oh my gosh, that's real loud. Tomorrow is the beginning of 1426, and sadly, our baby boy Reese will be dying, but then we have nothing else happening the whole rest of the year, so we're just going to get to play and do our harvest and sell our crops, so maybe we'll have money. I know it says we have 17000 but we really don't because we moved in money when um, Madalena moved in with us. She accidentally brought money with her, so... That is it. That's going to do it. Thank you for all the nice words you guys have said about the building. Nikki did a fantastic job. Oh, what? there is one more thing. We got our next two wives for the boys, for Sebastian and for um, Xavier. So Blackmore, her name is Riverland Rose Blackmore. Oh, she has really pretty eyes. Meet Rivlin Rose Blackmore. She lost her entire family in the Great Rift. That's what we called it when we moved. And is looking for love and to start a family of her own. Made for Sebastian. So this is Riverlyn Rose that will be um, moving into our main house. She's also going to get a horse to come with her. And then this, Zoe Sage... I made Rhaenyra and Black Beauty for the next heir of the main family. I hope you like them. Well, this is probably going to end up being the next, like, Xavier's wife with Black Beauty. That's the name of the horse. I love it. So, we'll be getting a horse also moved in with Riverland as well. I like that name, Riverland. That's cute. So, those two have been created for us just today, apparently, and they will be joining our family in a few more years. So, what I will probably do is make a house nearby, set them up in a house nearby, just so they're in the world and they don't get lost in the hashtag, because sometimes that happens. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and for all your wonderful comments, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.